Scientists in Tasmania have developed a system to determine how different marine animals will respond to climate change. The rapid assessment method is expected to have important implications for commercial fisheries. Scientists in Tasmania have developed a system to determine how different marine animals respond to climate change. We have a large number of species that are changing in distribution and abundance all at the same time. The rapid assessment method takes into account up to 20 characteristics for each species, ranging from its ability to move to other areas to how it adapts to changing water temperatures. The fish are then ranked by their sensitivity to climate change. In southeastern Australia, the system found abalone and rock lobster were the most sensitive. And then we also have a suite of species like snapper and yellowtail kingfish that look like they will be shifting further south and increasing in abundance. The method is now being used in global oceanic hotspots or areas where ocean temperatures are increasing much faster than the average. It'll help governments manage commercial fisheries. Most governments, uh, whether they be state or federal, are wanting to prioritise the way they spend their money to maximise the outcomes. It'll also help explain decisions about fisheries management to the industry. We can actually say to industry, well in the future it's likely that there will be these changes in that catch and this is how you may wish to adjust. It's really giving us a bit of an early warning sign more than saying that we have a, a problem at our doorstep right now. Crucial information for some of the world's most important commercial seafood. Richard Baines, ABC News.